One of the other thing you mentioned was like the experience of layoff. You felt you felt at the time that, oh yeah, it was a shock. I it came out of nowhere, but then it was the like best thing happened to you. Can you tell us a little bit more about this duality here? Because at the same time, it's like very shocking. Maybe it comes with some pain or I mean some stress, of course, and then. You, f you figure out this is the best thing. There's a book called Never Search Alone. And um, I don't know if you've heard about it, but uh, they form like these JSC groups. And uh, one of the things that you do in there as a team, um, you get together with other people and uh, do job searching together and you know f help each other in whatever ways. And one of the things was a Moonkin two pagers in there, which focused on the things that I love, things that I don't like, uh, things that um, I'm passionate about. And that's where coaching came from. So for me, that was actually the turning point where it's like, all these things are not things that I'm looking from um, the engineering uh, workload that I'm doing. I mean, I'd love working with engineers and why can I do just coaching uh, with them and learn from them and the way they've uh, done things. So that turning point happened for me and it was, um, it was liberating and uh, it was just something that I could take and um, have some kind of control. So for me, it was about being able to take control of my life back again, instead of leaving it up to um, somebody else by working for somebody else. So, but it's definitely been challenges and uh, trying to be one person business is super difficult, um, but I'm working through it. But in terms of practice, what I've done is um, not necessarily telling myself oh, you know, this is what I need to do. And uh, telling myself positive thoughts, I've realized doesn't work because I actually have to believe in it. And um, for me, what's really worked is using the word could. I could do this. Let me try. Not necessarily be like, oh, I'm going to do this. I, I, I need to do this. Because if I put those words in, it really doesn't help me in any way because I don't know if I believe it. So, but in could, this is a possibility. Why don't I try it? So that was, that was my side of things. And um, what's really helped with the coach is that whole accountability side of it, because now I had somebody who was accountable. So uh, within our sessions, so she was like, all right, so in the next week or next two weeks, what are you going to do? What are your actions that you're going to take? And now is telling somebody, you know, I'm going to do these things and they're holding me accountable. So then I would be asked, you know, why didn't you get them done? And then, you know, try to dig deeper and further with that. That's uh, something that we also love it here. Uh, this concept of keeping each other uh, accountable or having accountability partners. And we'll get to that in the end of this conversation. And I want to ask you about that. Um, I am wondering what are some of like specific um, actions you took, like since you started these conversations and how did they change what you're doing and how you're doing them? So one thing I've started doing is I wanted to exercise for a long time. And, um, you know, I'd force myself to get on the treadmill. We have a treadmill in the garage. And I'd force myself to do it and um, didn't really work out. I said, okay, I'm just going to put a TV show. We have a TV in there too. So put in a TV show and, you know, go on the treadmill. It was still not working for me. I tried doing weights. I set up a whole weights uh, station and, uh, okay, maybe if I do something that's more of my muscles, didn't really work uh, that well. And then um, everybody's been pushing me just, just go outside for a walk. And I was like, that's so boring. I, I don't know if I want to waste my time doing that. So I was like, okay, I need to do it. And I got myself to do it. Um, walked around the block once, no, no, nothing new happened. So then I put on some uh, of the headphones, not the ones that covered my ears, but you know, just around that um, can also help you hear. And I was listening to podcasts and um, that's, you know, kind of how I was listening to your podcast as well. And 